All right, round one. First fight in the MMA genre for Island Fight 71 here at Pensacola Bay Center. Jose definitely lighter on his feet, a little bounce to him. Bombs right now back both men. Throwing leather early. Games is out of the blue corner. Nice little counter left there by Games. Been seeing that kick kind of disappear a little bit in the MMA, you know, like that kind of the side kick. Seems like five years ago, three years ago, it was a little bit more of a trendier thing. It's starting to disappear a little bit. I feel like it's still a big thing in female fights. I feel like there, it's not a uh, female fight unless there's a side kick and a, a head and arm throw. There you go. <laughs> Jose in the southpaw. Nice little front, front left. Ooh, Holy Games God. is not happy right now with that. Wrestling time. Beautiful body lock. All right, they're on the ground, Jillian. This is your world. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, Jesse's on top right now. Jesse getting to mount position here. Oh, really throwing down some bombs, doing some damage. Great scramble from uh, Gaines in the bottom there, though. Little, right into a little triangle. too aggressive there, I think. A little high. But does he have in the triangle? It's so difficult with these ropes sometimes, too. Oh, he switched Ooh. to the arm bar, it looks like here. Oh, back to the triangle. Beautiful transitions on the bottom. If you're Jesse, what are you trying to hit right here? If you're Jesse, you just want to punch him in the face. That's the, that's the ideal thing. Um, really, uh, now he's back in guard. And again, like I said, just being in a boxing cage, these ropes do come into play. It makes a big difference. So uh, he doesn't really have the opportunity to punch up and uh, to posture up and punch like he would like to in this position. There he goes, moving away a little bit from the uh, ropes, and it looks like he's trying to really create uh, some space here to start throwing some strikes. He's trying to land uh, points no matter what, just doing damage. Even if it's just a little bit of uh, damage at a time, you can just accumulate it. Wow, made it through the first round. Couple different close opportunities there for a finish, but does all three minutes. Raise a close round. Um, even with Jesse kind of on the bottom most of it, I thought definitely submission attempts were nice. The transitions looked good. Thought he looked great on his feet. I'm kind of leaning, I think, Jesse there in round one. Uh, yeah, definitely lean, uh, lean up to Jesse a little bit more for round one. Uh, Games too, coming in, it's his debut. You wonder, like, is our nerves playing into this at all? Is that uh, is the experience of Jesse helping him in this? Wow, look at the action of the highlights right here. Jesse was definitely on top throwing major strikes, even on the bottom here throwing strikes. Yeah, the whole time from the bottom, Jesse was still attacking, attacking, going for arm bars, triangles, just always looking for the finish. Wow, great corners. Anthony Seger out of the red corner. All right, the start of round two. Jesse out of the red, games out of the blue. Beautiful core. Jesse threw the team kick, and uh, Sager was, oh, throw that kick out there. They're definitely on a string right now, corner and fighter. You see Jesse nodding to his corner, just very aware Ooh. of the fight. Stand up, hit him in the face. Games is definitely sitting on that back right hand. He's he's like waiting. He's doing a beautiful uh, job just trapping Jesse on the cage here too. Oh, now Jesse's coming back hard. Stand up, stand up. Sometimes the trapped fighter is the most dangerous one. So being trapped on the cage there, coming back and throwing a lot of big strikes, and it looks like he did he did some damage there. 
Wow, Games is really trying to get the back here. Big punches, though. Nice knee. Knee to the body there by Games. Two, three in a row. Beautiful takedown. Games looks to end the fight here in round two. He's going for the choke. It looks like it could be close. I think you'll be a little proud of that one, G. Exactly what I like to see here. Games is trying to uh, be the president of Throat Cuddles here tonight at uh, Island Fight 71 here live at Pensacola Bay Center. His corner is telling him to aban exactly abandon and go to mount, but there he still gets top position. Games definitely looking to slug away, looking to kind of rear naked put in. Even if you don't have it underneath that chin necessarily, you can still break the jaw with that choke. It's still, oh, it's a good threat here. Could burn out the arms though. But he's close, it looks like, here at the end of round two. 30 seconds left. Wow, Jesse, tough trying to hang in there. Look at those eyes. Ten seconds left here. Games is putting everything in this rear naked to end round two. Wow, made it. I think we're one to one going into round three here. Wow. It seemed like Jesse was definitely in advantage of the grapple and the rest of round one, but no, round two, Games totally switched it over. Definitely felt in the, in the mount pos uh, position, also had the back. One thing I loved about Games, he did not let like seconds go without throwing something. He's like, I'm getting damage points here. I'm getting it done. Constantly attacking, constantly doing work, just making sure the judges see that, making sure he won that round. Here are the highlights here of round two. Great ground and pound there by Gaines. Wow, yeah, this is definitely a deciding round of the fight, both men. Jesse with a great round run. Gaines with round two, round three of action here at Island Fight 71. Wow, T kick into a Superman punch. The hand of Goldie special here under this uh, Bay Center Lights. <laughs> Some nice knees to the body there too. Beautiful knees there by Jesse. I'm feeling those. <laughs> With a nice double leg right after. Jesse's corner yelling Habib to him. I like that. The evolution of the fight game. Heavy on top and side control here. All right, with Jesse here with two minutes left, you know, when do you turn it into the strategy factor? Wait, great little roll there Beautiful by Games. When you're on top, do you try to just say, if I kind of stay here for a minute or two, I probably win this fight, or are you, you know, you're working on trying to finish? Oh, it's never too late for a finish. That's okay. my favorite thing. That's what, all I want to see. So, oh, ideally, I'd be working for the finish, just trying to get them out of there no matter what. But uh, sometimes you got to play it safe. Sometimes you don't have the cardio. Sometimes you're not right. there all the way. So uh, you might be looking for a little bit of a safer way a, to win. You got it. He sucks. Jesse's got to get out of this position. Games is just always doing enough, always just body, 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 head, just doing enough. Ref is, it, you know, not going to stand him. I would assume, because the amateur level, no elbows here. Jesse 
Jesse just trying to keep his posture down, make sure he can't really get any power into those strikes. Right, but sooner or later there's got to be a message here of, hey, if we don't get up here, we lose this fight. You're good, bro. Hey. It's like one of those, hey, I'm taking one or two, but I'm getting up here. This is the round you really need to do that. When it's one and one, it's a close fight. And uh, it's obvious that uh, Gaines here wants the win. He wants to finish. 25 seconds left here of round three, the deciding round of this fight. Gaines with a big overhand right. Ten seconds. Let's see if we'll see a flurry here by Games to end the fight, end round three. Here we go. To the bell. Love to see that, that extra little burst in the last 10 seconds. Really, really close fight. The first MMA fight of the night. Games, round one was controlled on the wrestling side, but round two and three definitely flipped it over transition and really kind of led the dance on the floor. Yeah, Games definitely looked like he started to slow down a little bit in the last two rounds, and uh, Jesse was just able to uh, go out there and just capitalize on it, get some nice takedowns, get a beautiful sweep there in the third to just maintain top position and finish in a good position. Here's the highlights of round three. Uh, Anthony Sega already working in his corner, already showing him something, already working on the next fight. Absolutely love that. Great learning experience by both men. Are you more nervous as a fighter in this moment right here, waiting for the win or the loss, waiting to see if your hand is raised, or before the fight? I'd say before the fight, generally, I've never been in a position where I uh, went to a decision and not know if I won or lost. Anytime I went to a decision I lost, I knew it before I, like my hand didn't get raised. I, I feel like uh, you can acknowledge that as a fighter where you're at, unless it's like a really close like split right. decision. Has, has it ever flipped? Have you ever felt one way and then it w didn't go the way you thought? I, luckily, I've avoided those situations. I feel like that's uh, where my finishing skills come into play. There we go. Finishing skills right here with Christopher James. Back to ringside. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the bout identically, 29 to 28, for your winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner, Gabriel Gomez. I am here with the winner, Gabriel Gomez. First fight ever. Nice big arena, a lot of people live all over the world right now. How you feeling, player? I feel fucking great, man. I feel fucking great. Well, listen, man, I want to say, you know, uh, I see a lot of guys debut here, and uh, you were very skilled in your approach tonight. I like the way that you were listening to your coaches. You, you followed their instructions to a T and took on the win. Tell us about how you got here tonight. Mr. Box. I got here through with fucking Bernie Arenas, through Dominic Fitness and MMA. This is what I fucking love, this is what I fucking do. Shout out to my girl, shout out to my mom, Bernie, Vinny Mendez. Shout out to God, thank you very much. Did everything go exactly how you thought it would tonight? It was tough, my opponent was good, but yes, it did. Well listen man, you did a great job. I hope we can see you back here again soon at Island Fights. Good job tonight, man. One more time for your winner, Gabriel Gomez.